What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Presto Waffle Bowl Maker. And this morning I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to make me some and waffle egg bowl. It's going to be crazy. You guys lucky. I, I just checked on my refrigerator. I could have sworn I had some bacon and some hash browns. That's what I was really going to do this morning. But all I got is sausages in my freezer. So that will come another time. But um, yeah, let's get started anyway. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug it in so it can preheat because that's what it needs to do. So you see that light? Oh, <clears throat> see that light right there? When it goes off, that means we're all ready to go. So now it usually takes about three to four minutes. No biggie. And when that happens, I am going to spray both um, the top and bottom with with some Pam, or you could spray it. I don't. I don't think you need to spray it, but I'm just gonna do it just in case because I don't have no time for nothing getting burnt because I'm not doing this over. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> yeah, and I'm um, still debating on what I'm gonna put in the bowl, but we'll figure that out after um, after the egg is uh, been made. All right, the light has gone off, so now I'm gonna lift that up. As you can see, I'm gonna spray out, like I said, both sides, and pan, like so. And then now I'm just going to pour my egg in carefully up to the measuring line. I just poured all of my two eggs in there. And now I'm just going to close it. We'll see what happens. All right, the light went out. I'm going to go ahead and unplug. And I'm going to lift up and we'll see what we're working with. Wow. That's an egg, not even a waffle, guys. Now that's dope. Look at that. Anyway, guys, I want to stop it right there because I'm about to go into overtime, but I don't want to carry all of you into overtime if this is just what you want to see. So, yes, I did two eggs. What I, what, I, what I would do if I were you is I would do two eggs, but just leave. It was slightly over some spilt on the side. Let me see if I can show you that. I did have some spillage on the side. So slightly less than two eggs would be ideal. No big deal if you did two eggs, because I'm just going to wipe that up. It's not the end of the world. So, just want to throw that out there, but this is an excellent idea. Um, and just look out for many other videos that I'm going to have, because I have, like, I just thought of 10,000 things that I can make with this, between cornbread, uh, waffles, eggs, whatever. But anyway, let's go into overtime. Okay, let's take it out. You guys pretty cool nice I got my evine.com cooks companion induction stove top in the house I just bought this a couple weeks ago to replace the one that I had um, and actually, I don't even know if it works because this is the first time I'm going to use it. So why not today, this morning, right? And let's just keep it going. This is my Evine pot, I mean pan. It's got that little funny shape. Induction ready. Nice. What y'all know about that? Great value, baby. <laughs> Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group one time on Facebook. You know what? I'm going to put green onions 
or scallions, whatever you call it, in my corned beef. I've never tried that, so we'll try it today. This um, half of a small onion, green pepper, yeah. Got my pulling chop in the house, y'all. Production is working just fine. Shout out to Vine. Look, a vine again. Black pepper. All right, so there we have it, guys. I plated it. Now look at that guys, we got a corned beef egg bowl <laughs> made out of a waffle bowl maker. Like if this is not blowing your mind right now, I don't know what would. I mean, this is just awesome. All freaking some. I'm trying to take a bite. I don't know how this is going to. One thing about and, and the egg is a little. Uh, it's been sitting out for a while, right? Because, all right, so let me close it like that. Nice. Close it, sorry. Let me take a bite. Man, that's great. I mean, I could have did hash browns with, I don't know, sausage, cheese in the middle. I mean, the possibility, the, the possibilities are endless, man. I'm thinking about next time putting it in my air fryer um, to make it crisper. I might even go that route. But... This is just completely awesome. Mm, 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 mm. Perfect breakfast. Anyway, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Faint thing. Thanks for even just looking at my video. Just cooking with Doug.